Hello, uh, my name is Jason Reese. Some of you may have met me before, some of you may not. Uh, I am a per assistant professor of marketing here at the uh, at SFA uh, in the College of Business. I'm specifically the uh, sports business program director, uh, and one of my primary research is sports marketing, which is what this class is all about. So, hope you're excited about the summer term. Um, I want to give you a quick introduction to our summer two uh, semester in 2017. Uh, to tell you a little bit about uh, the class, uh, kind of walk you through the D2L so you have a good understanding of how we go about uh, being successful in the class and making sure you know when things are due. So um, first thing I want to do is if you hopefully you can see my screen, uh, I've got it uh, posted here. Um, one thing that you'll do is when you log into SFA um, D2L, so that's d2l.sfasu.edu, which I'm sure you're already in, but uh, you'll see the, the opening page or the course home page. Uh, will look like this. It'll have a news feed on the left uh, and on the right it'll have any updates. Uh, these are updates for me uh, and then under that is calendar. And so essentially it tells you uh, when things are due, uh, so homework assignments, exams, those types of things. On the left again is news feed. So for example this morning it was posted every Monday morning I'll post something uh, that tells you what's going on this week. Uh, keep in mind for a summer term uh, one week of a summer term is typically three to four weeks of a regular term, so be uh, sure that you're staying on top of the due dates uh, and getting ahead. You can do as much of this class as you like. The only thing that is set in stone as far as uh, you can't do ahead of time would be the exams. And so uh, try to get ahead of the game and not behind. Uh, but you can see what I posted here, things that you need to do uh, throughout this week. Uh, it reminds you of due dates. But you also again see that on the calendar on the right, and it's also posted in the syllabus. Underneath it, you'll find some other things. So, um, a welcome to the class. It's important that you read the basics of this class. It's a news update that I posted yesterday, uh, and kind of what this video is about. But it reminds you of how do you go through each of the chapters. Uh, it gives you information about the textbook, and then how you go through the class. So, I don't want to go through all of that and read it to you. You can read. I want to show you the top here. So. You can see uh, anytime I do a new um, news, that's typically how I'm going to communicate with the class. Uh, it will post at the top here where it says update alerts. Uh, that will usually have a red icon on it that will tell you, hey, there's something that's been posted. It's important that you read it. Uh, I may email the class, but for the most part, I'll be just doing news updates. So you need to be logging in regularly to D2L and taking a look at it. When I mean regularly in a summer term, that's pretty much every day uh, and doing work. So the top you'll see content that's an important one to go to so if you can click on content it'll show you uh, it might open up to a table of contents and essentially this is the overview of the whole class uh, there are three modules in this class module one two and three and in each module there are different chapters so first thing is your textbook is needed for the class hopefully you've already gotten it and you can start reading it because we're starting today uh, well that is uh, the 11th of July but um, you need to start reading those chapters now but we don't cover every chapter in the book, so that's the good news. But I'll, I'll first start with, you can see under the syllabus section, it has a Meet the Professor, uh, your student information sheet. This needs to be completed, uh, and we'll cover that later. But under Course Syllabus, you'll click on this. Anytime you have a document that's outlined uh, or posted in uh, the content section, and it opens up to something like this, there's two ways you can look at it. One, just look at it in the screen like this, and you can just scroll down. Or there's a button at the bottom of that screen that says Download. You can download it and have a copy of it for yourself. Um, I'm not going to read all this inf information to you, but I do want to point out a couple things. Uh, this class has two major parts. The first part is exams. There are three exams, two of them. Um, the first and second exam are over modules one and two. And the third exam is a final exam. And it is comprehensive, but most of it, and we'll talk more about this later, uh, comes from the third module. Uh, the marketing plan is the other big project, and we'll have a lot of information that's actually sectioned in the content page of D2L. Uh, you also have reading quizzes, so for every chapter that you read, after you read it, uh, and before you start the uh, video lecture or the recorded lecture videos, uh, you need to take a reading quiz. Okay, um, That's worth 120 points, uh, and then two uh, different projects, so we've got Dropbox and discussion assignments. Those are 75 points each. Add it all up, it's 1,000 points. If you're more of a percentage person, just move the decimal over to the left and you've got 100%. So um, essentially your exams are worth 40%, your marketing plans are worth 33%, reading quizzes are 12%, uh, and then the assignments are combined for 100 or 15% of your final grade. 
kind of breaks down. You can see due dates and all that, so you need to make sure you're writing these things down. Other thing I want to point out in the uh, syllabus is the course calendar. This breaks down, uh, and I try to break it down within a few day period so that uh, if you only have time to work on it every other day, um, it's going to be hard for a summer semester. You need to be working on it every day. But uh, you can see what's due within a few day period. So the 11th through 13th, so starting uh, tomorrow the 11th, uh, the first um, assignment uh, for chapter material is due on the 13th. Uh, you have a reading quiz that's due uh, by midnight on or 11.59 on the 12th. So you can see the chapter we're covering. That means you need to read the entire chapter. Uh, then you need to uh, go to the module content and read it uh, and watch the content videos uh, and then complete all of the assignments associated with that. And I'll show you an example of that in a minute. But so for example, the first module you read chapter 1 and then you skip chapters 2 and 3 and go straight to chapter 4, 5, and then 6. Then we have an exam. Then we cover chapters 7, 8, and then 12, and then we have an exam. Then we have a place marketing, which you don't actually have to read a chapter. You just have to watch the video. And then we cover chapter 9, uh, and then we take an exam. So uh, you can see the course calendar. You want to look at that and be sure you take, a, uh, take notes on when things are due. And then the student information sheet is the last thing that's on here uh, that you need to complete. So we'll go back up to the top here. If you look at the course count, uh, content, I want to point out, for example, the first chapter. So you go under module, you'll see a module description. It tells you a little bit about what the module is going to be all about. There's a checklist that you need to complete as you go. But under the first chapter, you can see different sections. The first one is an introduction. This introduction tells you a little bit, has a statement about what the chapter is all about, uh, objectives for the chapter. And then the more important thing is to look at the chapter one reading quiz. It'll tell you when it is due. You click on that, and it'll link you to the quizzes section and you can begin to take that quiz. Uh, but underneath the uh, course tool is also a way you can get to quizzes. Uh, so either direction, however you want to get to it, but you can take those quizzes. So go back to chapter one real quick. So as you can see, you complete these things in the, introdu in in the introduction and then move on to the different parts. Uh, so for example, chapter one has three parts. In each part, you'll have the lecture uh, notes. In this, you'll have two different things. You'll have a link to the PDF to lecture notes. Uh, so if you wanted to print them off and take notes, you could. The other document uh, is uh, the actual um, PowerPoint file. So if you're more of the type that wants to have the PowerPoint file, you can click that and it will download and then you can open it up. Hold on a second. And it'll look like this. So either way you want to look at it, that's one way. Um, but those are both available to you. There's no assignment attached to it. One thing that you are required to do um, is the video lecture or the video itself. This is a YouTube video uh, and it'll tell you how long the video is so you can time out how long uh, to plan out. So if you want to take this class in bits and pieces, you can. Uh, it's not really long videos. They're shorter ones. This is actually one of the longer ones, 17 minutes. I would say most of them are uh, less than 15 minutes long, um, some of them less than 10. So keep that in mind. And then every now and then in a part you'll see a uh, assignment that's attached to it. So uh, you start by reading the chapter, take the reading quiz, and then start part one. You can watch the video lecture, and then you do the assignment. It's linked to it and has a due date and has what you need to do. And each part has something different. So for example, in part two, you don't have an assignment. You just have to watch the video lecture. Part three, there's not an assignment. You just have to watch the video lecture. Uh, and then that, that you have finished chapter one. So that's uh, generally what you'll do. Uh, obviously, if you have questions, please email me. Uh, my information is on the syllabus. My email address is Reese. It's spelled R-E-E-S-E-J-D, as in Daniel, and the number one. So ReeseJD1 at sfasu.edu. Uh, and you will find, uh, I'll ask me any question, I'll be around uh, for that. Uh, you can find other information at the top, so the Dropbox and the discussion board, the quizzes. Uh, and then you can also go to the grades at the top, and this is where I'll update as we go all the assignments that you have associated with the class. So I hope you have a good semester. That's what I'm here to help, um, so please let me know how I can do that. Talk to you soon.